All right, so we got a couple of different ships here for this first mission. Uh, I'm going to be taking command of an Excelsior class. So we've got that stat line there. Lots of hull, lots of shields. I'm going to be playing as my sort of six points of starting experience. I'm going to play reinforced shields, which gives me plus two shields, giving me a grand total of five hull, five shields. Should be really tanky. And I've got overcharged phasers, which is going to give me an extra attack die at range two, functionally giving me that range one attack bonus all the way out to range two. And because the Excelsior has a forward firing arc of 180 degrees, I should get a lot of coverage out of that. Joe's going to be playing. You want to talk about these cards a little bit, Joe? Uh, well, the Akira class, uh, not quite the same firing arc, uh, but I don't need it. Um, got More the of a skill stations. ship, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, a lot of haul, so crits are potentially going to be a factor. I'm hoping not to get hit. All right. And then you got the commander here. Two, uh, two tokens for the price of one. I'm all about the value, so he will be very relevant. Awesome. And then you got one point left over in your starting build? Uh, just to give me some green uh, maneuvers in case I have to get away in a hurry and clear an ox. Right, yeah, impulse upgrade here. Okay, awesome. Let me give those back to you. Thank you. I've already set up the enemy ships for this particular scenario. And now it's all set up, I'll read the introduction. Act 1, A Simple Patrol. Stardate. 49427.7. Congratulations on your promotion, Captain. With the discovery of the wormhole into the Gamma Quadrant and the results of our first contact with the Dominion last year, Starfleet Command has decided to form a special task force. You and several other captains have been chosen for this assignment. Your objective today is to patrol the far side of the wormhole and learn what you can of the Gamma Quadrant. If you encounter Dominion ships, your orders are to stand your ground, but avoid escalating the situation into a major confrontation. Good luck. So our objective here is to collect sensor data. We're going to deploy on this edge of the table, range one from the edge. We're going to have to go and do scan actions within range one of these mission tokens. There's two different ones here. And we're going to have to collect a pair. So we need an even numbered one and an odd numbered one. And you can only get one from each place. Mm -hmm. With those sensor data tokens collected, we then have to retreat from our starting edge. So probably we're going to do a tour of the board, cover each other a bit, deal with some oncoming dominion and clear out. Hopefully it's just as simple as that. Hopefully it's, yeah, there we go. There's only two of them, right? How, <laughs> what could go wrong? So yeah, let's deploy ourselves. Where do you think you want to start? Uh, I think uh, if we're going to stick together, we'll blast up one edge and, and do a, sort of a horseshoe. So Sounds right. Let's keep our, let's keep our, um, I think you're closer to the board because you've got that 180 to. Yep. To, well, it's only I'm really effectively only range two, though. I could be at the edge. Yeah, that's cool. It'll give me the widest arc, right? I could also follow a little behind you, but I think probably we're just going to race across the map on turn one, aren't we? Yeah. Let's, let's, let's get in there and do it. In there. And I have you don't have white twos, right? So this will give you a little more of an uh, arc. I do not have white twos. No. Or sorry, white uh, turns. Right. You're, yep. you're banking, right? Yeah, my, my turning radius is terrible. And as soon as I get some more experience points from this mission, perhaps I'll upgrade that a bit. All right, so yeah, let's dial in. I'm just going to fly her apart. Four, four forwards, the best I got. I think that's that's what we're doing. We I have think. engaged the Dominion. <laughs> All right. So we are both Captain Skill 2, which actually means we got to roll for the AI. Captain Skill 1 enemy ships first. I'm just going to deal out a couple of cards for them and mark them here. This is a little bit off camera, so I'm just going to maintain all the lists here. And then they have two shields and three hull each to start with. Let me just fetch those tokens as they spawn in. And we're good to go. All right, so first one, and I'll move them this turn because they're at this edge. I roll a four. That means he is going to do a three forward. we are still in the very front arc even though he's further away this guy though i think we are in yeah we're in the other arc so for him he's gonna do a two bank and now both of them there are no enemy ships within range three so they'll just default to i think it's a scan yeah scan if none of the above apply so they're looking for us yeah there's too far out away at this point <laughs> not for long i'm sure all right let's move ourselves you can go ahead and do the honors. I think I will just end up taking a battle station. Yeah, I'll do the Not same. Not gonna matter much. Uh, you Did you do a four or? I did a four, yeah. Perfect. 
And not that this will show up on camera, but I do have a round counter for the scenario. I could leave it in the dice tray. Uh, that was round one. Time is a factor. We've got yep. 10. Uh, this mission is, yes, at the end of round 10, we automatically retreat. But if we haven't finished the mission, that's not gonna go well for us. It's the coward's way. All right, end of round one, we'll clear those off, set that to round two, and let's dial in again. I'm good to keep charging, honestly. I We're think probably so. gonna be in combat this round, though. If we charge and they charge, I think you'll have the arc. He might elude me, but then I'll elude him, and I might get the asteroid to help me too. So. Yeah, because you're going to be about here, right? And yeah. if he's coming kind of straight in, you, you should get cover from it. Okay. Yeah, let's 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 keep hard charging. All right, let's do it. So this guy first. We are at. We are now in the 45 degree arc on his card, and we're at long range. So he's doing a two bank and won't swerve because he doesn't actually overlap the asteroid. This is a perfectly acceptable maneuver to the Jem'Hadar. Must be that hollow imager, the fact that they can't see the front view screen. Most of the crew doesn't care. All right, second <laughs> They don't guy. lack courage. That they do not, that's true. All right, and this guy is also gonna do a three bank because he's further away. Oh, sorry, he's in the front, uh, three forward. Slowly but steadily. Now this guy, uh, oh, he is in range. And he's got a shot, so he actually will end up with a battle station. This guy ends up with a scan. Should he somehow wander into range later? Let's move us. Well, I think he's gonna get both of us in in, uh, in range, but we'll see what this asteroid can do. Yep, and I'm gonna take that battle station because I know I'm gonna be shooting this turn. Although actually, you're probably gonna be the priority target, and I wonder if I should target lock instead. Come in even harder next turn. Uh, yeah, I think that makes a lot of All sense. Right. All right, so I'm going to be target lock A. I think I gave you the B tokens earlier. Yeah, they're there yep, somewhere. right here. Cool. All right, that makes it easy. And the Jem'Hadar attack ships, these ones without any kind of supporting um, players, like uh, what are command ships or whatnot, uh, don't have any target lock inherently. So they'll just prefer to do their battle stations like they did. I'm going to use my commander to get a battle station. To why you brought them, right? Right, and... Uh, Okay, so that's movement phase round two. Uh, shooting time. I'm captain skill two, you're captain skill two. Uh, looks like you're out of arc though. I do not have a shot. Okay, so it's gonna be me at range two, not obstructed. That's, that's fun. That's 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 uh, some f neat flying. Yeah, and he's gonna shoot you and be obstructed. Right. And you've got all the defensive and tokens. I've, and I've got, uh, I'm loaded for bear. We're off to a great start. Okay, it is range. It, oh. Wow. Well, Destroy it. we did it. We did it. We crashed the board. I think it was range three, though, because he was a little further away. Okay. So he is still in my front 180. It just means I'm not going to get all of my dice. So three he dice. Gets a, he gets a third defense dice? Yep. Uh, da -da -da, crit only. Not going to modify I that. think it uh, waits for it. Do you want to roll these? No, go ahead. Can, okay. He rolled two of eights, so okay. he will. Yeah, it was a pretty sad opening shot for me. Uh, target lock set up. Yeah, there, right, right. I was just fishing at that point. That was going to be golden. Okay, so then he's going to shoot back at you. So I out. get a third defense die because of the obstruction. Yep. And this one is range two on that shot. Uh, hit crit and spend battle station. So hit crit crit, or sorry, two hits and a crit. Well, uh, I did not roll great. Blank, blank, battle station. I'll spend that and I'll spend the evade. I'll lose a shield. That not how I wanted to start, but it no. could have been worse. And this guy is too far away. So round three. Okay. And uh, I did forget to spawn one of the initial Dominion ships because I realized uh, that, you know, that we were playing uh, two player here. So start of round three, we've actually got the Dominion Alpha. And if we were playing with an extra player, we need yet another Dominion ship. But that's not the case here. So start of round three, Dominion Alpha formation arrives, and he's going to show up at a random bearing. I've got to roll this against the scenario chart. Bearing number one is, oh, actually, I think he's going to come in, swoop in the back there and cut us ooh, off. He's range, try range three from that edge there. Cut off a retreat. I guess, yeah. And this guy is um, an elite Jem'Hadar attack ship, which means he gets a uh, the backside of a card. So we've got 
That's his captain skill card there. We're going to use this side, and the version I drew from the set is, when attacking, if the defending ship is within range one or two, all damage dealt by this ship ignores the defending ship's shields. That's nice. <laughs> that's that's going to hurt. <laughs> well, especially because both of our ships are like shield heavy. Well, mine is especially. All right, well, we can dial in this round. I think this might be where we break formation and get fancy. Where, how, what range do we have to be in to scan that? You need a scan token, and you've got to be at range one of this mission token to collect the sensor data. Well, I think I can get close to being there if I three bank. I'm thinking the same, actually. And I'll decide once I get there to see if I'm in good range to do it. This guy is going to miss his action this turn. He's almost... There's no way he's not going over that asteroid. So... Agreed. Yeah. This guy might be might be trouble, but we'll we'll find out when we get there. All right, let's do it. So, uh, the new elite enemy is Captain Skill Four, which means he's going to move after everyone else. Well, that's concerning. A little bit might be might be a challenge. So let's roll for him first. Uh, we are closing in the front arc. Uh, let's see. I don't. Yeah, we'll just take that guy off for movement's sake here. But I think he's just going to end up doing. Uh, a one bank that way is his preference. And there's and no way to swerve, so he'll just do it. Doesn't have any way to really avoid the asteroid. Nope. So there we go. I'll roll a damage for him, though. <laughs> Crit. Well, we'll take that. He's got, he's got shields, but yeah, we'll take that. That was very sloppy flying by that Jemhedar attack ship. Well, he's going to be... <laughs> we've got to come back here, so... We do, yeah. He's going to have a shot. He's going to circle around later. Okay, his friend... And his friend is 45 degrees far away. He is going to do a three turn towards us. That's interesting. Fully anticipating that maneuver here. And so first guy has no shot, but there are enemy ships within range, so he'll end up with an evade. And this guy that has no shot, but enemy ships in range also an evade. Although I think he's probably going to have a shot very soon. <laughs> I think he maybe he outflew us a little. See we'll, what we'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. All right. So, yeah, uh, why don't you move your ship first? Okay. We're still both captain skill two for the, for the foreseeable future, so we'll have some flexibility in our turn order here. Later on, we might want to specialize a bit more. And it looks like you're well within scan range. Um, is that range one for me? Looks close. I would say that... Uh, it, yeah. I would say that I'm almost tempted to try and blow this guy out of the water because we're probably going to be in range one. Well, you're in range one of this guy for sure. No, but I mean, if we just do our banks again, we'll still be in range of that. Oh, you want to scan, scan next turn? Scan next turn. We only have to scan it once, right? Yeah, and if so each of us can, can scan it to pick up a token. We only need one copy of the token to make it back. So if one of us gets destroyed and they're holding the tokens, that's a problem. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Maybe I think this turn I've got no mods and it'll be an okay shot. I think I'll scan it this turn and that gives me some more options for next turn if I want to do something different against this guy. I don't necessarily think we're going to be able to successfully alpha strike him. Are we? We roll enough dice? I you, guess we have to roll. He's got the evade token too, don't forget. You'd have to take, I think you'd have to take quality as well. Yeah. Because I'm getting five dice if I'm range one of him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it's up to you. I'm I'm happy. I'm happy to collaborate. <laughs> I, if one of why don't I fire at him and you and you pick up the the okay. Let's the, do it. The token. Yeah, so before we do our shoot, I'm gonna move the uh, elite enemy there. Oh yeah. Don't forget about him coming in hot on the flank. Uh, it looks like he is gonna be within the. Uh, I think it's the front. Pretty close to tied on it. Uh, he's doing a four forward. Well, he's coming in an awful hurry. Yes, he is. And we'll end up with a scan. Not that there's any reason to put it out, because he's not participating in anything this turn. Uh, let's do our shooting. You want to go first? Okay. Uh, roll five. Defense. Yeah. So when? So you scan, and then you pick it up at what, what time? I guess we should. Oh, I should double check that. End of activation phase. I can spend a scan token. So okay. I spend it now. I won't have it available for shooting. And I've got mission tokens here. This is an odd-numbered mission token, so I will take it and put it on my card. Half of our objective is complete, provided we can escape with it. <laughs> so you're rolling five dice there. Okay, hit, hit, crit. 
All right. Nothing to do with He's the He's got two defense dice and an evade token. He'll end up spending it. So hit crit. Got his shields off. No more shields. All right. Uh, I will shoot next then. It's going to be yeah, range two for me. So three dice plus one for overcharged phasers. Four dice. Ooh, here we go. But no quality. And that would be, yeah. Could have got the kill shot if he'd also blanked, but here we are. Well, we, we've we scared him. And then this guy has no return shot, but the one we were just shooting at has got you at range one. Mm -hmm. So four dice with no quality to speak of. Two crits and a hit. Okay. And of course, every time I play AI uh, ships, I'm rolling like a monster. I'll spend the evades. So I take one more damage, which is a shield. So that crit is not quite as scary as it was. All right. And that's going to be end of round three, isn't here it? Here we are. That's right. OK, so start of round four. Let me check the scenario table to see if we have any more Dominion friends. Not yet. There is one more on the docket, though. They're lurking around somewhere. Somewhere, yeah. One more reinforcement coming in. Pull this off, pull that off. And then, yeah, what the heck are we going to do? I mean, I'm kind of, I'm good to continue my my gentle arc, but I don't know. I think you're going to be a little bit more pressed for maneuvers this turn. Well, he's got to move first, right? He will uh, move first, yeah. So I, I'm tempted to three bank because the only way he's going to get a shot on me. If we're, if we're lucky, we both just blast past him yeah. and he's over here somewhere. Well, and if he does a come about, he won't get quality, right? Yes, that's right. So I think that's our best. If he does a come about, what's his come about? It's a three, isn't it? It's like here? Yeah, we're both clear. I'm, think, I, I'm thinking think if so. he comes about, if I end up crashing into him or not. But I could still shoot him in that case, so it's probably a wash. Uh, let's just do it. Three banks it is. Stay in formation. We'll get this sensor Stay mission. Stay on target. Yep. Stay on target. Wait a second. <laughs> Bank my ship a little bit there. There we go. She doesn't turn very hard. That's about as far as she banks. <laughs> All right. Let's roll to see where these AI ships go. So the oldest one here, he is in the rear arc and escaping. So for him, that is a three come about. Well, we can't be too surprised. And his buddy is front arc at 45 degrees. He's just, just doing a one forward, which I think might be a problem for me, actually. I think I'm gonna hit him. I was playing for the come about, but uh, good news, though. These Jem'Hadar work together. They, a little bit, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm not in his. Neither of us are in his firing arc, so he'll end up with an evade, which should help us a little. Yeah, I'll certainly take that. Yep. Um, all right. Uh, this guy, this guy, he moves after us. Yep. So I let me let's... let me proxy this guy while you do your three bank here. And you think you're going to get him, eh? I do too. Yeah. Yeah, definitely crash into him. So then it's... Yeah, thereabouts. Ugly. Rude, 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 Jem'Hadar. Get out of here. Uh, that's his evade? That's his evade, yeah. You haven't taken an action yet. So I'll do the commander just in case this guy makes trouble. Yeah, let me take... Uh... Excelsior's only one evade, or one, uh, yeah, one one green die. I'll take an evade. Well, I think it's worse news than that, because I think you lose your action oh, that's for right. hitting him, so. Uh-huh, yep. He's playing, he's playing his games, but you're going to get four attack dice, so there's a chance. Yay! Okay, and let's roll for him. So he's coming in 45 degrees at long range. I rolled a five. Uh, that's going to be a three bank at us. I pick up the one I don't want them to to do, and yeah. that's the one I usually use. Yeah, so there you go. They're they know what they're doing. Yep. Uh, I he's think still out of range though, right? Out. Yep. Oh, just, just like by millimeters. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Yep. So he'll end up with a scan. Not gonna matter. Uh, all right, let's do shooting. So not him. Um, I've got a shot. You don't, you don't this have a shot, do you? Too, right. I would hope so. Yeah. Oh, so. Just only not, just. Not not as far as is comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, I'll, I'll get my no quality shot first on this Jem'Hadar. A, a four, I think. You get an extra one. For yeah. Range, range three, one. three for my inherit and then four for being range one. Perfect. 
Uh, hey, that's a pretty good roll Not for having bad. no modifiers. Two crits and a hit. Okay, so he's rolling two evades. And has an evade token. Oh, oh perfect. Double okay. evade. <laughs> Evades everything. <laughs> Nothing sticks. Well, you know, he had no shields. I could have popped in there with a really lucky roll both ways. Um, and then him shooting me. He's going to fire four unmodified back. Yep. To my one green die. One hit. One hit. Nope. No good. This is why we brought reinforced shielding, though, for extra shields. I've got... That's 10% uh, of my health gone. We're, uh, we're not in too bad of a shape. It'll work out. It'll work out. Okay, so round five. Uh, check for friends. Do we, do we have a... Nope, no reinforcements yet. They come round six. But okay. there were... We should... We would do well to take some of these guys off the board because we are going to be overrun if we uh, just let them pile up here. I don't know. Do we, do we switch up and try and joust with this guy? Do we split up? My only concern about coming in on this guy... Mm -hmm. Well, I think we're actually in a bit of a bad spot because if we come in, this guy's probably going to turn in and... We'll get, we'll get flanked. We're going to get hit a lot. If we just go forward, I think he's going to broadside one of us, so... Yep. Um, I'm in a decent position to do a four straight and then maybe a three bank next turn. But uh, I don't know. Why don't you? Well, I guess, I guess maybe I should try and tangle with this guy then. So why don't I do a a, a two bank and uh, and engage him while you jet ahead and pick up? Yeah, I mean, even if I do the four forward, my firing arc is going to be like here and forward, right? That's that's actually a great point. So I'll probably yeah. be able to help you. Yeah. So let's do that. And maybe at some point he'll come back into range, and I can cash in that target lock. We're just letting it invest for a while. Well, it right. doesn't hurt to have it. Okay, so yeah. I'll play I'll, four forward. Do I want to do a two or a two? Might my... he's yeah, gonna be two, somewhere in here, two, right? Two, you'd think two's a, two's our best shot, I think. All right, all right. Well, let's see where they go. Cool. So number one, oldest oldest enemy ship first, a five, which at this bearing is a two forward. Curious, maintaining big arc. He's gonna have a battle station though, because he's got everybody in his firing arc. His friend here is going to look at... So the ship he's touching uh, is not considered because there's someone here. And there's no, like there is another target within range. So he's looking at you and you're in the back corner here. It's going to be a three come about. It was most likely going to be a three come about anyway, but this table seals the deal. There he is. Okay. Then it's us. Whoosh. Fly her apart. Just get out of here. And I think I'll do the commander once again. Yeah. Uh, this guy is definitely going to shoot me in the back. I'm going to go for an evade, I think. Uh, actually, it's range three. You know what? I'll take the battle station because we'll see what happens. If I get a great True. side shot, I'd rather put it on the elite than uh, I got lots of shields. It'll be fine for now. All right, I so combat so phase round five. Well, this guy's got to move still. I oh, that's right. Think. Yep. So uh, you are in the forty-five degree angle, closing, which for him is going to be a two bank toward you. I might well have known. Okay. Well, we're getting we're getting interesting. I'm going to joust you straight up. So, I think the awkward. Uh, truth of the matter is he fires first. It, it, yes. And he's going to ignore your shields. I don't like that, well, but I don't have You don't shield. have shields now. <laughs> Good timing. But it, just in principle, it's a sh darn shame. Yeah, it's scary. Okay, so three dice plus one for range one. He's got four dice with battle stations. He'll spend it for two hits. All right, two evades. Ooh, look at that. There we go. Yeah, double evade. I, I, I know. I know how to joust. That's right. Uh, all right. Well, his I, move I, was foreseen. <laughs> you're like, he's going to come straight at us. Let's let's deal with this. I'm gonna blast back. Yep. He's gonna have two defense dice. Ooh, that's juicy. Three hits and a crit. So Ooh, let's yeah, see what we can do. Blanks. Okay. So shield, shield, hit, crit. Could get him actually in one here. Would be would 
be it would be nice. Let's shuffle our this. damage deck because we haven't had to deal one yet. And who knows if it was shuffled before. All right, so damage card. And then the crit is damage sensor array. The ship cannot perform the actions listed on its action bar. Uh, can spend its normal action to try and remove it. Let's see if that matters for him. But, you know, we've taken the teeth off a little bit. That's great. Well, he's you, 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 it's your shot. So yeah, we could finish it, right? Let's see what we can do. Is it range two? It is range two. That is handy. So he just gets these two evades. Yeah, and I'm rolling four dice with battle stations. Uh, two and a battle station. I think I'll spend it because that would, should guarantee he's dead, right? Yeah, it does, yeah. Yeah. Double battle, double station, battle stations. No quality. We got him. Blinded by hatred, straight into the Federation phasers and well, liberated. once the boys from the Alpha Quadrant get going, that's, that's right. That's, so I think uh, this guy does he end up having a shot? Uh, yeah, I think I'm getting lit up by both of them. Yeah, both at range three as well. So you know, could, could get some good green dice rolls here. You want to roll attacks? I'll do the uh, unmodified one first. So three on one plus one. Three hits. Three natural hits, yeah. And blanks, perfect. Okay, wow. Well, Getting chewed up good here. Here we go. There go three of my remaining shields. I've got one shield and five hulls. And then three with a battle station. Right. <laughs> good job, Joe. Good job. <laughs> Two hits and a crit. Uh, I get double battle station on that. So oh boy. Hit. It went from being like, oh, this, this is fine, to this is not fine. Uh, so first hit takes my shield, second hit takes, gives me a damage card, third hit gives me a minor hull breach critical hit. So red maneuvers now cause me to roll an attack die against myself. And considering that my dial is like, all my turns are red, um, this might be a problem later. It certainly has the potential to come back up, I think. And I only have three hull left as well, so I'm not going to be able to take much more of this. And I'm the only one holding our sensor token here. No, I know. I, where the reinforcements arrive presently is going to have a lot to say about our chances, I think. Yeah, that's right. So end of round five there. Uh, let's go to round six. Start of round six, the Dominion fourth wing arrives. In a two-player game, that's only one ship. Let's see where it shows up, though, because it is random. If we're lucky, he's not anywhere near us. Uh, point four is there. Huh. <laughs> yep, right there. Okay. Um, boy, I wish I had some ability to go faster than just like a four straight or a three bank. I definitely have to like just just move. I cannot be here now. Yeah, you've, are you... Uh, Excelsiors are at four, eh? I guess so. Um, yeah, I don't have a five. That would be great. I think the best I can do is a four forward this turn, mm -hmm. and then like two three banks, pick up the scan on the way and get out, which unfortunately means you're going to have to screen for me now, probably. I th And I'm debating whether the best way to do that is a two left or a one forward. Right. Start coming around now and deal with the asteroid, or... Uh, does the Akira have a come about? Uh, it... It does a three come about. Yeah. Okay. That might I, be better. Now we're now we're now we're cooking. I can never remember which of the Federation ships have them because uh, it's a big differentiation between the different like hulls, right? This sensor data is vital to the Federation mm. war effort. It's worth a whole tell, Akira class. Tell my wife I love her. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> All right, let's do it. So uh, I'm dialed in. I'm going to do four forward. What are you planning three come about? All right, let's see what they have to say about it. This guy, he, it looks like he is the 45 degree arc on the long band. Uh, that's going to be a two bank. Number two here, uh, also long band at 45, also a two bank. I'll grab that one since he's close. Oh boy. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay. This is not going well. Uh, he's got a battle station. He's got a battle station. This new guy. Is his captain skill higher? Uh, he is a standard gem hit our ship again. Okay. We, we've actually defeated the only elite enemy for this scenario. Well, we we have that going for And us. there are no more reinforcements. At this point, these are the remaining three that we just have to kite or deal with. So, this guy. Uh, looks like 45 degree angle and retreating because it's uh, I'm facing away. So he's going to use the outer band. He's doing a two forward. 
Well, he's not particularly concerned about chasing just yet, as it turns out. That that might save us. They're not perfect. These Jem'Hadar are not perfect. And that. That was a that was a lucky break, actually. Yeah, to say the least. All right. Well, I guess it's us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Any anything with I, I would love to have done Helmsman or something is my second card. Don't know if overcharged phasers has been worth it the way I'm flying. Uh, I will take the evade though, because I think at this point I need to go for survivability. I think that's wise. I'm going to take an ox. Yep. Okay. Nevertheless. Then, I think you got a shot there, don't you? Now, one of these. Yeah, I guess I just have the one shot. And uh, does he get you? Nope. So it looks like you're, you've just got to weather the one shot too. That's really good. Yeah. I mean, we've got a chance. You've got range three here. Yeah, it's going to be a little trickier as we start to come around because we're a little slower and they'll just be able to rush in full speed, but we'll, well see. We'll see. I'm going to try and jam them up. This guy? Uh, yeah, so I'll shoot. So three unmodified, range three, two hits. Is it three is? I think you're attack four, aren't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. And Akira. Don't steal your last three, either. Three, three hits. Three, and he's two plus one for range, so three dice. Double evade, and it looks like you got a hit through. Okay. And this is number one. He has only one shield, so now he is shieldless. Okay. Good deal. Might splash not, him next not, turn. Not bad. So now there's a range three shot with yeah. battle stations coming for you. Yep. Of course. One, oh, yeah, two hits and a crit, of course. I don't I don't roll blanks. Uh, I will have to spend the evade, so I will take hit crit and hope that this is not terrible news. The crit is a second minor hull breach, so now red maneuvers are just really bad news. Well, all right. Let's see if I can't jam these guys up. Round seven. So we have three more, four more rounds, seven, eight, nine, and 10. End of round 10, we get to retreat. I don't know if I'm going to survive four rounds of kiting these, these clowns. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, I'm going to start my ever so slow retreat. The thing is, I'm going to need to scan if I want to also collect the that's mission token. That's right. So I kind of think I should two forward. Green, maybe get that guy off the board for you. That would help, yeah. See what we can do. Um, this guy's also shieldless. So we've like half killed two of them. Okay. It's just the new one who, uh, who's who got the shield still. Well. I think that's, I think that's about as good as it's going to get right now. It's better than we usually do. Let's <laughs> let's let's make it happen. All right. So number one here, chasing me, front band at long range, uh, four forward. Devil. Yeah, he's coming in real hot. Whoosh. Battle station. Okay. And then second guy. Also same band, same distance. He's only doing a two forward though. Well, I think he's going to lose his chance to get an action. He is, yeah. Jam him up. That might make him a good target for focused destruction. Okay, and then the back guy here. Uh, nearest target is me. So I'm in the side arc at long range. Uh, one bank. Okay, all right. He's going he's gonna to be shooting you, I think. Uh, are you range three? Well, I'm, I think I will. Oh, yeah, I think I am. Yeah, I'm range three. All right. Battle station it up. Okay. The commander has made his choice. Yep. Let me move Let's mine. see what you can do here. Put that three back. There she is. Okay, so. I am in scan range. Do they both have you? The far one, I think, is just out. I would, I'm allowed I to would measure, tend, right? Yeah. I would tend to agree. Yeah, he's out, and he is... Just in. Just in. And what's number one looking at? He's got no shields and a battle station. Uh, see, I think that... The, you might be able to get him. If I get him and you scan, I think we've got a... Ch we've got... A, it's, a, it's not a great chance, but... Yeah. <laughs> it's turning certain death into a fighting chance for life. I think that's all mm. we've got. Yep. So yeah, I'll take my scan then. Okay. 
I got one hull left in all, all the minor hull breaches. At this point, I think they're pretty major hull breaches because there's two of them, but like, you know, here we are. Okay, four dice against number one. Ooh, four hits with quality, yeah? Uh, or are you thinking you might want to hold on to it? Well, I th what, what's he, he's, he's got, what's he got left? His hull, right? This guy, yeah, this guy's only has three left. No, I'm going to spend it. Yeah, just got to get him out of here. Uh, good news, though, you're out of arc of the second one. Ooh, that is good So you're news. not taking a return shot there. Okay, so we've put four. Yeah, two hits. defense with so a battle station. We just need a blank here. Uh, yeah, one one evade, one blank. Uh, well, no, not one blank. He'll spend the battle station. Yeah, so he takes two, so he's still c kicking, unfortunately. But you did spend but his battle station. We got his quality, at least. Uh, so he's still going to take some damage from that, right? You had... Th uh, he's going to take two. I yeah, four hits. hits. Leaving him with one. It was very close. And now... I have no shot. Uh, they've, we've got the one shot against you and the one shot against me. Mm -hmm. I would love it if you could roll maybe not three hits this time. <laughs> well, I'm going to put these good dice away. <laughs> Three hits. All of your dice actually have been hot. I think those are the good ones. Three hits. There it is. So I can't miss. Uh, I'm dead then probably, right? Because the best I can manage is two evades. I get one. Yep, the Excelsior is destroyed. I think this mission is a failure. It is certainly not looking good. I don't see you getting all three ships destroyed to the point of then being able to get both scans in four rounds. No, the time limit is certainly a factor. All right. Captain Gofton will have to avenge our deaths. He'll be very displeased with this performance. <laughs> Boy, those dice. Boom, yeah. I mean, rolling rolling three hits on every single long-range shot you pump into the Excelsior is... Uh, I have lots of shields, but not that many. Not, not, not that many. It's a recipe Well, let's for roll for the return fire, at least. Let's see if you can pull this one out at all. Let's see what I get. So this guy, yeah, range two. So three dice with battle stations. Uh, no, I'm, I've am i got your dice now. Two hits and a crit. Okay, so the crit comes through, so I get a crit on my hull, which reduces my primary weapon value by one. Ugh. How are you supposed to kill them now? Does not look good. Where are they going to maneuver? They're all going to do comebouts, I guess. Maybe. How many rounds do we have left? Uh, three more. One, <laughs> two, I'm not getting back to that. No, you're not getting both there's tokens. No, there's no way. All right, well. God damn these Jem'Hadar. The war, the war com continues on in another front. I guess, yeah. All right, we are back and now playing the second scenario of Star Trek Alliance Box 1. It's called a Evacuation, and we're now into Act 2 of the campaign. So looking at the uh, requirements here, we can play the next four missions in order. All of Act 2 can be played in whatever order. Uh, we just have to not lose uh, three of these missions. We have to win at least two. Okay. Two of the four missions we got to win. And we'll probably want to win more than that because we want the experience points from them and to level well, up our captains. Let's win them all. Let's try and win them all. Yeah, that's a good good policy. I like it. It's the Starfleet way. 
So, mission briefing for evacuation. Stardate 49428.3. Two weeks ago, our long-range scouts discovered a planetary system in the Gamma Quadrant with unusual energy emissions. Initially, we suspected it might be related to Dominion activity, but when a more detailed scan revealed no Dominion presence in the system, we quietly sent several survey teams to investigate. Three of them, in fact. Uh, the last transmission indicated our activity has been noticed by the Dominion. Reach the survey teams as soon as possible and get them out. An encounter with the Dominion ships is probable. Be prepared to defend the planet until you can rescue our people and retreat. Godspeed, Captains. So our goal is to get at least half of these mission tokens off the planet and back to our starting area. And we can retreat from our edge of the board again. Um, we get some points if we do that. And at the end of round 10, we will automatically retreat with whatever we've got if we survive. The only other twist is to beam them up, we've got to get within range one of the planet. And we've got to spend a scan token uh, to collect a survey team and put them back on our ship. But when you do that, you also have to disable all your shields for that round. So you're going to be a little bit vulnerable while you're beaming people up. And it's at the end of the activation phase you do that, so you won't even have the scan for combat, whether you need it or not. And then finally, if there are Dominion ships that can shoot at the planet but not us at range one, they're going to bombard the survey team into dust, which might be a bit tricky. Well, I don't think we have much choice but to head straight for them, because I think the Dominion will. Yeah. Well, they're definitely gunning for us, because there's two of them that start here. Uh, and we're going to see an additional one after we set up. I think I'm a little more eager to head straight on because I have my turns. How do you want to set up? The, d the danger for you is uh, those banks. Yeah, because I won't be able to operate my transporters while doing turns. That's right. Only banks. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be some kind of lazy maneuver where I kind of come in like this and back around and maybe never clear the planet. I'm definitely not going to do an orbit around it. Okay. So maybe you want to be out here or on an angle a little I more? Think, I think that's probably okay where I am. All right. I'll come in slow. On round two, I'll try and get them by parking behind the planet, and maybe I can then go slowly on round three and stay, stay hidden. Mm. And if you've got one round where you can grab them, then between the two of us, we should get all three. But I'm planning on having to scan twice. Uh, let's do... I'm thinking I'm probably just going to do like a three forward. I want a little bit of room to maneuver there on my end. Yeah, I'm going to, I'll, I'll, I'll race ahead then. So I'll do the four forward. We're locked in. Let's see what our enemies are going to do. Well, let's add the elite enemy who is also during setup in this mission. So Dominion Alpha comes in at point two on this mission. That's over here. I don't think that changes our plan at all, actually. It could be worse. It could be worse. It could be over there. Hmm. And this one, uh, drawing the Jem'Hadar attack ship card on flipping it over to the backside. Uh, Captain skill four, combat phase. If there are no opposing ships in this ship's uh, primary firing arc, he will attack the nearest enemy ship at range one to two in any direction. So he's got like a turret. Dorsal, dorsal weaponry. Well, we can't have flying. Nope, no flying that guy. All right, let's take it away. So these guys are formation. They deploy together. So they're going to stay in formation until one of them is damaged. And that formation is racing forward of four, uh, except they'll have to swerve because of the asteroid. So they do this instead. Oh, I'm using the wrong one to move here. Yeah, this guy's fine. He goes, this guy just hits the rock. Just get it out of the way. Sure. A hit right off the bat. We'll take it. We shall take it. It helped us so, so much in our previous <laughs> mission. <laughs> All right. This guy uh, is after us because he's a captain skill four. Okay, so you said you wanted to do a three forward? That is what I got here, yep. All right, well. I guess we're getting them this turn, eh? I'm gonna scan. Seems good. Uh, I guess uh, you might want I mean, to I'll, do I'll an, an evade. I'll take an evade, yeah. Just in case this guy does something insane. Uh, I mean, he's definitely doing something insane. It's three turn this way. I got it. 
but he's not in range to shoot. It's going to be a problem. He's going to swing in behind me later. Mm-hmm. He's set up pretty well. Okay. Uh, end of activation phase. You're going to take your... I'm going to scan and get one of these guys. Yep. There's no shooting, at least, so you don't have to worry about the fact that your shields are disabled for this round. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah, round two, because there's no other attacks to be done. We don't get any additional Dominion ships until round four. So maybe we can just do our whole mission and bug out. In and out. I'm going to do a hard two this way. Okay. Yeah, I think it's going to be a two bank for me. Is that going to clear? It should clear, right? I think so. <laughs> and you can fly over a planet as long as you don't stop on it, right? That's the... Um, are they, yeah, I, you can fly, yeah, you can fly through them, but, but yeah, you, if it ends, then you bump it, yeah. yeah. Like if you're, if it ends in there. Yeah. Okay. I may, I may be in a situation where I'm going to skirt the edge a bit with one of my bank templates, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. As long as I don't park on it. Okay. So I'm dialed in, you're dialed in. Take that off and let's roll for the Dominion ship. So this formation again, being as they are still in formation. Uh, let's have them do a, looks like we are, which band is this? I would say that we are on the front band still. It's going to be a two forward. Somewhere is it two? There it is. So outer guy ends up with a scan, inner guy has no action. Well, let's see if we can... Look at you, you can get more guys. Pick up all the survey team let's members. Get, let's get them out of here. Thank you. Have I overcooked it? It's these attack wing banks, man, they're so long. They're nuts. Yeah, I have overcooked it. Okay. Well, I got my shields again. Maybe I can soak <laughs> some more fire this time. <laughs> Looks like you're scanning though. I'll scan, I think. And let's see what this guy has to do. Yep. So 90 degree bank coming across. He's gonna be a two turn. And then we'll see if he's in range. He might be. Oh, I believe he is. Oh yeah. Tragically. Yep. Some rookie flying maneuvers just crashing head onto this planet here. This is not how you enter orbit. Good try. Uh, well, I think you're getting. Yep. Yeah. Uh, how many how many of them are shooting me? All of them? I believe two. Because it's shortest line, right? So this one goes across the planet. Oh, actually. that's a little bit of luck. Yeah, so I'm blocked there, but this one is going to get I'm me. I'm not so sure he gets you, but let's find out. Yeah, check. Oh, yeah, he does. Have yeah, you. range three in arc. Uh, is, it's not obstructed either, is it? Or is it to get the asteroid? I think it does get the asteroid. All right. I'll take it. Range three and obstructed is like three dice. I never get to roll three dice. He does we'll do him a, first. He does have a scan. Yep. So three dice. Uh, I still never get to roll three dice. <laughs> uh, one hit and two Come blanks. Come on. Nope. We, we'll take that as shields. Yeah, I don't mind that. And then this guy's got three. Mm -hmm. Dead on with a battle station. Hit battle station, so two hits. Uh, evade battle stations. I will take one more shield. Well, things are looking up a little Come bit. Come on, bucket. Hold oh, together. Oh, I have one of these. For this turn, yes. And okay. uh, that's it, I think. Uh, yeah. That's going to be that whole round. Uh, I guess you, I can shoot back, can't I? But I don't think there's much I can shoot at, because he is the only range two guy, and we're blocked. And the others are outside my firing arc or outside my range. Oh, I can shoot. You can shoot one. It's yeah, I can shoot this guy, range three. Yeah. Obstructed. Okay, you know what? We'll do it anyway. Maybe he'll blank. Uh, I've got three attack dice. He's going to have three or two plus range plus uh, cover, so oh, four. four. Uh, I get one hit. He's just fine. Two of aids. He's not sweating it. Nope. Okay, round three. Well, I kind of actually think a three bank is going to get you 
on the other side of the planet. Mm-hmm. That'll be great. Good. I'm just going to hard two. I might lose my action, but I'm... Uh, I think you're clearing that asteroid, no problem. I think I'm in good shape to go. Yep. All right, let's do it. So the formation again, this guy being the formation leader. Uh, they want to do two banks. And it looks like there's no way he's going to be able to avoid this rock. So he's probably just plowing over it again. Well. I'll roll for his friend. <laughs> Crit. <laughs> Okay, let's do us. You were doing a two turn, right? I've got the three bank here. Uh, I will take my scan. Get shielded behind the planet, that'll be good. Beam up that last survey team right before the Jem'Hadar start to bombard the planet. There we go. I will take a evade and battle stations and okay. try and weather some blows. And let's see if that guy comes in hot. So forward arc at long range. Yeah, four forward. Actually, his friends might be in the way. Um, oh, no, look at that. Some he, pro flying there. He knows, he knows what he's doing. But I'm going to be safe from the planet, and it looks like maybe he's got you at long range. Yeah, uh, yeah that's range three? range three, yeah. And battle stations for him. The other guys end up with scans. Uh, no, with evades, because there's no shot but we are within range three. Okay, I didn't have to scan this turn, so I have shields, which is nice. Mm -hmm. I believe it's his shot. I flip all my shields down to pick up the last survey team. Okay. Not a bad evacuation. Yeah, that was pretty smooth. All right, and then, yeah, I'll just roll for the elite shooting you, right? Because you don't have uh, any weapon that can target him in this arc. Correct. So, range three. He's got three dice with battle stations. Uh, doesn't need to spend it. Hit, just hit crit straight up. Uh, spend the evade token. Spend the battle station token. Nice. It's going our way. I'm going to do another three bank. Just keep zipping away here. It is round four, though, which means I think we get some reinforcements. It might uh, show up in an incredibly awkward position. Let's find out. It's just one guy. He's a regular gem head our ship. Here he is. And we're going to roll to see where he goes. 0.6. That is, entertainingly enough, down here. Great. I think he may have been waiting for us. <laughs> well, their trap has sprung. Yep. Uh, I'm definitely shooting him on the way out. I don't know if you want to bother. Can you retreat along this edge or only, this edge? Only that edge. So I think I'm in the three bank to try yeah, and get you, everyone to You've got most move. of the uh, survey teams on board, so that seems good. And then I three bank. Hopefully these guys come for me. Yep. Um, and then I go off the I'm next round. I'm thinking like right? three bank, three bank, and then just right to the corner I think that's, for me. I think that's your Trade your some hope. shots with that guy. Um, all right. Can I have my shields back? Let's, yeah, I'm dialed in. You're dialed in? Mm-hmm. All right, let's roll for the oldest Jem'Hadar here. Number one, still in formation. Two, bank toward. Yeah, they're going to end up just... That elite just, like, swooped in the way and is messing everything up. <laughs> Uh, okay, so he bumped. Oh, yeah. And so the, this guy is same, two, same two move. Bank, right? I'll proxy the elite here. Does it change to a two straight? Cause it no, so the uh, the AI ships can overlap planets. Oh, right. So once he's overlapped that planet, he is just going to be able to make the shot normally. It's like the planet's not there for him. Mm -hmm. We can shoot him, he can shoot us. Uh, but I believe it still counts as him not getting an action. So that's and us. We'll roll for the him. new guy. Yeah. He wants you at center band or away. He's going to do a two forward and a battle station. And then us. So Excelsior class. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. Now that's some slick flying. Yeah. Where did I put Played that? right into my hand. Take my battle station. 
take my commander. Okay. And then let's see which of us is closer for the elite. I think it is you. Yep. Physically closest is the tiebreaker. So, 45 degrees far away. <laughs> Two forward. Okay. I'm just going to... He doesn't clear, so I'm just going to go there. Is he even in range? Yeah, he's going to get me with with uh, range 3 end obstruction. Well, this could be a problem, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, you've got some... You've got an elite first. Uh, which is... Uh, sorry, which one? The uh, this number three is the elite here. So he's going to fire three at you, I guess? Yep. And I've got one for my inherent agility, one for the obstruction, and one for long range. Three dice. It's happening. Finally. Watch them all be blank. Two, Two hits. hits. Uh, I'll spend my battle station. I think that's wise. Yeah. Go for survivability here. I have no shots. You get to pump, pump some dice into this guy, though. Yeah, three plus one for short range. Uh, hit crit. Two evades rolled. Ugh. See, if I'd saved my battle stations, we would have blown his shields off. But, you know. I don't think we're getting them. It's not important that he's destroyed. Yeah. He's not the objective here. And... Uh, uh, this guy is also going to shoot me because I yeah, think he is out of range, nothing. right? Nothing. Yeah. So this guy, same story, range three with obstruction, and he's got no quality. Hit blank battle stations. So one hit. I get an evade. Okay, Just one. Okay. Now things are starting to turn our way. I can roll one evade on three dice. It happens. <clears throat> All right. So round five. Uh, I, I perhaps it's a little strange, but I. I kind of think I should three bank. Cool. I'll be closest to them. Oh, again, that's right? true. Yeah, hang around and draw some. I'm not. I'm unhurt. Right. Yeah. Let's okay. do it. Okay. I'm gonna keep. Yeah. Scooting uh, yeah. down the edge. Agreed. All right. Uh, I'm dialed in. You're dialed in. So let's roll for them. Let's do. They're no longer a formation, so they're gonna pick separately. Mm -hmm. I think you're now the closest for this guy. For sure. All right. So he's going at, coming at you straight ahead. He's gonna do a three forward. With a battle station. And then this guy coming at me straight ahead is going to be a two forward with a battle station. And then uh, number four here who came in on our flank. Uh, I am the closest and I am in that side. Two turn towards, so that's an asteroid. Two bank, I think it becomes a, yeah, he's going to do the two turn. You can't do a reasonable swerve to not go that direction. <clears throat> Roll for his asteroid. Nope. At least he knows how to navigate asteroids if he's, he's going to fly straight into them. It's not bad. And then us. Okay, I like that. We're getting close. Take my evade. And then the elite. Battle station of A. You are the closest target for the elite. He wants to do a two turn toward you. It's still partially overlapping the planet in this action, so no token. Actually, this one shouldn't have a token either. So that's theirs. I like our chances. Yeah, I think we're, we're in good shape here. So. No shots. Uh, the elite, I think, shoots no you at range shot. three. Yeah. This guy doesn't. That one probably has me at range three obstructed. Yep. Okay. Okay. So we'll. You want to do the elite? Elite on your Akira. And it is range three. I will happily take that third die. Three natural hits. Uh. Oh. Ooh, max quality for everything. All right. Uh, I'll I'll take care of that and evade a battle station and a token. Evade token will. Solid. Keep okay. Safe. And then yeah, this guy range three against me, obstructed. Gonna have three total dice. Three, three hits. Natural now we're now we're back. <laughs> three evades and an evade token. Oh, there we I, go. I raise your ridiculous dice lock with my own <laughs> ridiculous dice lock. The, uh, the real question is that these are Tom's dice, so I have some mm. serious questions for him. Yeah, he definitely seems to have some good ones. These ones are from the uh, Alliance box. Apparently, the old Star Trek attack wing dice are just like. Little bit, they, they little get, suspect. Yeah, they get they get results. They get results. That's right. Round six, we've got another elite 
Dominion ship, but I can't imagine it's going to matter. I think I think I'm off the map, and I think you're also off. I'm the map, certainly right? am, and you. All right, are, call it too. There we go. Mission okay, success. Okay, well, put one in the wind column. Yep. The survey team is back in Federation space, safe and sound. We've gained a greater understanding of some of the unique setting of the Gamma Quadrant. Uh, if at least half the mission tokens are collected, yep. Uh, each player gets one XP. If all mission tokens are collected, each player receives an additional one XP. So two each, and no one was destroyed. That's pretty cool. All right, and we're gonna play Search for Survivors next. 